tested positive for a banned substance. Of course, will not be suspended. This was two different tests that came back positive in March. Got it through exposure, through a full body massage from his physio. The ITIA said there was, quote, no fault or negligence on the part of Yannick Sinner, and the penalty was 400 ranking points, $325,000 that he earned by making the semifinals at Indian Wells. Let's go inside the press room and hear from Yannick Sinner himself. It's uh, um, not ideal uh, before a Grand Slam, um, but you know, in, uh, in my mind, I know that I, that I haven't done anything wrong. Um, I had to play already months with with this in my in my head but you know just remembering myself that I haven't done really really anything wrong I I always respected these rules and I will and I always will respect this uh these rules of, of anti doping so um yeah it's just obviously a relief for myself um you know having have, having this result We've been talking about this story since Tuesday, John, and credit to Yannick. Uh, the U.S. Open tried to cut off that line of questioning. He took all the questions about this subject, answered all of them, uh, what seemed to be quite honestly. What's your overall reaction? Yeah, I, I was in that press conference. I'm glad you brought that up because uh, they, they tried to cut off questioning, and Yannick Sinner seemed as eager as anyone to discuss it and basically say, you know, br bring it on. I, I want to give my side of the story. I, You know, th the facts aren't really in dispute, and I think that's one thing that we should remember and maybe separates this from other cases. I mean, I think, I think it's pretty clear objectively what happened. I think the question is more about the process and the punishment, mm. and we should add that he has fired the the trainer and the physio that were involved in this in this carelessness. Um, should it have taken five months? Is I think a fair point. Should this have been kept under wraps for five months when it hasn't been the case with, with others? Novak Djokovic talked about it today, and I think where everybody seems to be is look. I, I don't think there's there's guilt. I mean, obviously there, there's no fault or negligence, but negligence is not usually the standard. Usually it's hey, listen, something was in your body. You are responsible for it. You're the CEO of your body. Um, but I, I, I think the the issue here is much more with the process than did Yannick Sinner dope, which I think the answer pretty clearly is, is no. So I, I think let's separate facts and process. I think I think it's the process that a lot of people are uncomfortable with. You got to spend time with Yannick uh, in Cincinnati, went on to, to win the title there despite all of this. He knew what was going to come out. What, what did you notice about him? It was, it's very interesting that this came out right after Cincinnati. Throughout the whole week, he, he seemed a little bit more down, a little bit more subdued than he normally is. Uh, even on his birthday, uh, Danny and I, who, who are on the TC desk, wished him happy birthday and sort of asked him after when we were off camera, um, you know, how you doing? You celebrating this Saturday? He's like, no, you know, I'm just going to kind of take it a little low key. And you could just see it on and off camera, he was a bit more subdued, even when he came for the finals interview. First question I said, man, he's won the title. You know, why, why are you so serious? And he's like, um, just locked in, you know, still in the match. And now it's sort of all tracks, all makes sense. This is a lot to play with over five months. And he is one of the cleanest guys out there. Everybody loves him. He is such a class act from the minute he first came on as an 18-year-old all the way to now. He's always carried himself with such integrity and in the way he speaks and such a fan of him. But it's not easy to be able to do this. Having said that, the fact that he won Cincinnati yeah. and he beats Zverev in that unbelievable match, he played great against Tiafo. all of that said and done, it shows even at this young age, you can compartmentalize. Yeah. And perhaps that's something that he will need to do during this event also. Yeah, it really speaks to his mental resilience, being able to win that title despite all of this swirling on in his head, knowing that it was going to come out. Let's take a look at the draw for the top seed who enters the U.S. Open as the world number one and a major champion for the very first time in his career. Starts out with American Mackie McDonald, could potentially get Alex Mickelson, who we just saw in that final in Winston-Salem. Does not get any easier after that. John, what do you make of it? Yeah, I mean, part of this is about the players he faces. He's in the, the Alcaraz uh, half, so N Novak does uh, no Novak got the nice draw here. But I, I think a lot of this is just going to be how is he dealing with this new set of circumstances? And some of this is about the names on the draw and the player. I mean, certainly based on if this were in, in a vacuum, he can't complain about his draw. Pretty good, notwithstanding being on the Alcaraz half. But I think a lot of this is how will he address this sort of very strange set of circumstances that he has not had to confront before? And I think that really is, is the biggest mystery beyond uh, what, what the draw served up. And New York fans are not subtle, Prakash. How do you think they're going to react to Yannick Sinner? It, it'll be interesting. It's kind of this, this process, as John is talking about, and, and more, more the, the consistency, just having every player treated the same regardless of how it ends up going down, um, judging that versus Yannick's reputation. 
I, I don't know a single place where Yannick isn't cheered. He's cheered for absolutely everywhere he goes. And this is a pretty detailed situation, and I'm not sure everyone is going to know the intricacies of it. Bottom line, he has been cleared of any wrongdoing. He hasn't been suspended for anything. And that's what I think the majority of the public will take away. So, you know, you weigh that against the fact that he is generally very well loved. I think he's going to get all love. He is cheered everywhere he goes, John. But he is playing, potentially, two Americans in the first two round. U.S. Open, they love their Americans. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think New York tennis fans also tend to be fairly knowledgeable. And I think, you know, you, you see a headline and doping is in it and you, that the heckling, you, you can make it that way. But I think you... You look at the case and you look at the figure we're talking about, I think reputations matter, like Prakash says. And I think people that have looked at this and looked at the set of circumstances, it's unfortunate. It's not what anybody wants to be talking about on the eve of uh, on the eve of this event. But this is not your classic doping case. This is really just carelessness by two members of his team who are not members of his team anymore. So I, I, I don't think he's going to be jeered and heckled by, by New York crowds. But it's a distraction. Playing Americans are a distraction. And I think Yannick Sinner, we're going to learn a lot about him because this is, uh, you know, I, I think we were talking about this with Andy Rock. There, there's some players and you sort of know how they would confront adverse news like this, right? I mean, they, they would either lean into it or they would. Even, this is not somebody that we have a lot of perspective with in this sense. And I'm not sure he does either. So I, I think his the, the way he reacts to this, responds to this, and deals with it, I, I think is really going to be uh, a bit of a window into who Yannick Sinner is because um, he's, he's a great tennis player. We know that. We don't necessarily know a lot about him personally, and this is not how he wants to begin a major as a number one seed, but this is this is the hand he's, in a sense, dealt to himself. One of the